Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. This is Faith, uh, Mini Mimi Thrifter. Um, today's video is going to be about what sold over the weekend. My weekend I consider Friday through Sunday, so it will be April 30th through May 2nd. It is Sunday afternoon, so Sunday is not finished just yet, so I'm just going to record what has sold up to now, and then tomorrow morning I'll finish up and show that with, share that with y'all as well. <laughs> so let's get right to it. Alright, the first item that sold Friday was this Spider-Man, what is the limited edition DVD collector's gift set. Now, the movie was not included in this. I did note that in the listing. So all there is are whatever was left in the little collector set. So there's this little DVD here. Never been watched, <laughs> never been viewed because it was actually ours. This little, um, oh, what do they call this? They call this, but it's, no, what is it called? <coughs> Excuse me. You can see the little film clip in there. Um, just a little piece of advertisement. If I can pick up this stuff. A little, like a letter or some neat little parchment. Uh, a drawing there. See, it's still sealed. So it's not like I could get that out of the way. Come on. Y'all get it. It's a drawing of some sort by John, I don't know, John Jim something. But then there's this little amazing fantasy Spider-Man re reproduction magazine, a uh, magazine comic. <laughs> so anyhow, all that was um, original to the box. Like I said, everything except for the movie was included in this. Did take a long time to sell. Um, it sold for $8.87 and the buyers all in for $19.44. And the next item that sold is part of my husband's collection. So I have zero. Oh, this would be zero into it because like I said, this was ours and we've had it for many, many years. This, I have zero into this item. It's a um, Hot Wheels uh, treasure hunt. And I can't show you the back. Usually, you know, I was gonna show you the card to show you the little um, emblem, but look right. God, I hope it, come on, zoom for me. I mean, focus. Right beside the H, there's a little symbol with the little flame in it. Come on, do your thing. Sorry. So anyhow, Zero into this item, it sold for $2.59, and the buyers all in at eight even. And that is the last one of these little combat medics. And the third item that sold was this vintage, I guess it's pronounced Hager, H-A-E-G-E-R, Hager. So it's a little flower bud vase. It's really smooth looking, I think that's pretty cool. Let me see if I can show y'all. And um, this is part of the 220 deal, so nothing but profit on this. Um, it sold for $14.44 on sale, and the buyer's all in at $20.26. Next item. Okay, the next item is this large Corningware, the Cornflower Blue uh, platter. Make sure I had it correctly. There you go. Um, this was part of my collection, so zero into it. It sold for $16.07 on sale, and the buyers all in at $31.04. Next item is this Burt's Bees, what is it? Honey and Bilberry Foot Cream. It's brand new, never used. Um, I got this when I was first trying to start selling, uh, reselling, uh, this is when I was still working, so this is when I was doing part-time. I ordered a, I think it was, it's either Bulk.com or, oh God, what was that other one? Anyhow, it sucked. <laughs> I will never do it again. It was all this um, makeup and, you know, uh, the, the health and beauty products, and it was bad. It was just, it was just bad. The, I doubt I made my money back on it. It's just... I will never do that again. So I'll say this sold for $4.24 and the buyer's all in at 
I couldn't say that that's profit. I really couldn't. It's been so long and I still have lots of makeup. Well, I ain't gonna say lots, but I have makeup still left. And I'll just be glad when it's over and done with. <laughs> so I'll just say that's not a profit. Um, the next item is this pretty cobalt blue. Let me see what it says here. It says made in the USA. I put coffee mug. I don't know if it would be a, a, a shaving mug or not, but um, really pretty. $7.99 sold, and it, they're all in at $18.94, part of the $2.20 deal. So all profit there. I liked it because you could see, you see how it's got these little round ridges. It's so hard to, to yeah, y'all can see that. Yeah, it wasn't just plain. So the next item is another one of my husband's sets. This is not a treasure hunt. This is just a regular, I wouldn't call it a regular car because it's um, uh, the series here. This series, we were uh, looking it up. It was called um, Delivery Slick Rides. I don't know. It doesn't say Slick Rides anywhere on the card. It does say Delivery, and that's what I was originally looking it up. But every time I looked up or found them, there everybody was adding Slick Rides. And I was like, okay, I guess it's Slick Rides. I had no clue. But um, this is a custom 69 Chevy pickup. Haze on it. These have the Real Rider tires. I don't know if you'll be able to see it, but the tires are actually rubber. It's not going to focus for me. If I leave it too far back. Anyhow, you can actually see the little tread on them. So that's pretty cool. This is in really good condition. So the that car sold, car sold for $17.59. <clears throat> Excuse me. And the buyer's all in at $24.89. Alrighty, more Hot Wheels. This time it's a set. You see it's four of them in there. And you can see there's some little some little pit crew. I'm pointing it the right way. Yeah. <laughs> there's some little pit crew down in there. It's a funny car. Um, the box was damaged, and I did note that in the listing. Like, the plastic is pulling away here. And you can tell it's just not um nice and straight or whatever like it would have been had the fire not damaged it but it still sold okay it sold for 11.43 and the buyers all in at 23.31 so i'll profit there of course because i ha have nothing into those items this is the next item <clears throat> this is part of the 220 so i have zero into this it let me make sure i'm pointing it the right way it's made in Germany, and I couldn't find out any other information about it, but um, it's got the gold gilding on it. Um, this sold for $7 even, and the buyer's all in at $16.76. Nothing but profit there. Okay, let's try this again. The next item is this Sega Genesis game, Warrior of Rome 2. I only have Warrior of Rome 1 left. I sold also sold the Sega Saturn game. I believe it was called Clockwork Night. I got all those games and some other items at a yard sale. I paid a total of $17. And I got the three games. I got I got some other stuff too. I don't remember. So I've already made my money back on that. That's awesome. This one sold for $29.99 and the buyers all in at $41.67. And this was complete. It had the, the manual and the game itself, and I can't test these, and I did note that in the listing that it was untested. So, good profit there. All righty. I only have two um, listings left for today, anyhow. This is a Johnny Lightning. What does it say? Johnny Lightning, Tom Daniels, Fearless Funny Cars. This is called The Fiend. The name's under there. But um, it was still in good condition. Luckily, the fire didn't damage it. Part of my husband's collection. So zero uh, cost of goods there. It sold for $8.23 and the buyer's all in at $14.27. The last item for today <clears throat> are four loose cars. Let's see. Yeah, these, these have the rubber tires. Are y'all able to see 
the tread on those little buggers. I wish y'all could see that. So it was that one. I listed these together because all the cards were crap and I just pulled them all off their cards and listed them together because they weren't even on the card, they weren't valuable. And so I just listed them, you know, lotted them together and sold them that way. This one's called Neat Streeter, I believe. So I was showing you on the bottom, hoping that y'all would be able to see the tread on the tires. So um, this was part of a, a series uh, called Real Riders. So um, this set of four sold for $9.99 and the buyers all in at $19.76. So that is it for now, and I'll be back in the morning to show y'all the, the rest that that I'll sell. So, um, <clears throat> see y'all then. Alrighty, everybody, welcome back. It is Monday the 3rd. Time to ship these items out. I did have three more items shipped um, before Monday hit. So, the first item is, I'm trying to find the little face. It's a little Pokemon key ring. It was part of that, um... Shop Goodwill box that I bought of like 15 pounds of key rings. Um, it sold for $7.99 and the buyer's all in at $12.72. I believe I'm in profit on those key rings. I really need to, I may have already started writing it down. I don't remember. I need to check on that though. Next item is a vintage camel coffee cup plastic. This was actually ours. Super jumbo. Um, I've had it for ever. Um, it sold for seven forty five, and the buyers all in at fifteen seventy. The last item, um, when I listed this, and I just listed it yesterday, I went to you know I'm looking at comps and everything, and I noticed in my it's a Hot Wheel, but I had to remove it from the card, and um, so I'm looking and uh, I noticed that. Uh, all on the cards are selling for like 55 uh, $65, $75. And I was like, dang it, you know. And I found a couple that were, uh, that had sold loose for like $38, $41 on an auction. And I didn't want to wait on an auction. I just didn't have it in me. <laughs> so, um, I went and checked for the ones that were for sale. There were no loose Hot Wheels for sale of this kind. <coughs> Excuse me. So, um, I just put mine up uh, as a buy it, you know, buy it now price, no auction. And uh, I listed it at $41.99. I figure if they were selling for loose, you know, with the bidding at that price, I'm just going to list it at that. I'm not going to worry about the auction. So, that's what I did. And it sold within a few hours. You can see it's got the pretty purple tint on all the windows. Pretty cool car. It was um, part of the Redline series. These are not the uh, real Rider tires, which are the rubber. These are just plastic. Half time you can just tell just by listening to them. But all of them did have the red lines. So, and it's a really cool paint job. So, um, this one is actually a 55 Chevy Bel Air Gasser. Um, it sold for the $41.99 I asked for, and so the buyer's all in at $46.84. So, that was awesome. Like I said, it sold within just a few hours. So, kind of makes me go, hmm, <laughs> maybe I should have went up a few more dollars. So, anyhow, that is it for me for this weekend. And I'm pretty happy. My sales are being consistent, and that's what uh, I've been, you know, wanting. And, uh, uh, I'm getting quicker at listing because my goal is always, has been lately to do, um, 10 items every day that I'm listing. I, I take a couple of days off during the week, but, um, yeah, doing to, and I've been getting really good, getting quicker, even when I have to pull out the cards, pull out the cards from the card on the Hot Wheels and I have to, I wipe them all down just to make sure there's nothing on them. And uh, I'm still able to do 10, uh, car, 10 listings a day. And I still have time afterwards to do things around here. So 
I'm gonna give it a little while longer. I don't wanna rush myself, but I'm thinking about upping it to 15 items a day. And, you know, maybe I'll have more, that's what the thing is, I want to have more uh, sales, essentially. You know, I want to have that uh, net profit go up. I mean, I'm, I, like I said, I am proud and happy for what's happened, what's, you know, have been occurring steady sales and that's what I needed so uh I'm just rambling just rambling I need to hush I just woke up <laughs> can you tell need some cucumbers on my eyes no. so anyhow um if you like this kind of content please consider give me a thumbs up maybe even subscribing it doesn't cost a daggone thing and um everyone y'all go out and make yourself proud and have a great day bye-bye